This time we are going to try and attempt to do it the way we corrected the second dome, which was use the wood slat. So I'm not going to staple it down, I'm just going to put the cover over and then fasten it with strips of wood. So for the strips of wood, it's cheaper to, oh well, almost not thinking it's cheaper to. The way we're doing it is I bought these 10 foot 2x4s. And my strut lengths are around five feet, so they're some are a little shorter than five, some are a little bit longer than five. So I figured five feet will get it done. Five feet will be just a good length to do. So I bought, I have 60 struts, and I bought, I bought six boards. <laughs> Could have got five with five boards, I think. I think I can, I'm going to rip these into half inch strips and I should be able to get six of them out of each one. So the first thing I need to do is cut this in half. Rip a, cut a ten footer down to five foot and have two pieces. So here we go. You didn't put on your safety stuff. So Safety first. Check the adhering. What? I set my blade half inch. Set my stop. So, this is what I'm going to use to fasten down the, the plastic. I'm just going to lay this down on the strut, sandwich the plastic in between it, and screw this down. That should work pretty good. It's held, it's held up on the other dome like that for a while now, so we're happy with those results. And this way we're not going to put any staples in it. And we'll see how that goes. Test two. So, got to rip the rest of these apart. 59 to go, and uh, we'll take it from there. So this is the same greenhouse cover that we used on that dome. It's a uh, five layer UV protected, tinted, uh, no, what do you call that, diffused light. It's got dust protection. It's got all kinds of stuff, so you can... Uh, Take that one to the bank. I don't know. <laughs> it seems to be working well on that dome. Things are growing well. So, uh, so here we go. Okay, so when you slide it and get all the triangles tight all the way around the top, you're going to end up with a little bit of leftover, which I have right here. So I'm going to tuck it under like that and then go on the inside and fold it back in. And then all, 
All of these triangles up top are fastened down nice and tight. This seems to be working out real well. So it's going on pretty easily. It's uh, working pretty smooth, I think. It's I'm liking this way better than the way we did the other one, no stapling. We pulled all the ones at the top tight. We got the, the Pentagon at the top all nice and flat and pulled tight. Then we worked our way from the door around to the back, stopped there, then we went to the other side and worked that way. So we pulled all the plastic this way. And we ended up with a quite a bunch here, but I like the way it worked out. And we have this one that has quite a bit of plastic that's been pulled together, but we're probably going to cut this one out and make a, a vent here. So everything else got pulled this way and got pulled tight. So kind of like the way it's it's coming. Uh, we got pretty far. We didn't get the the last round or the base in, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. And uh, I'll show it to you when it's done. Okay, so this is how I did the door over here. I, uh, well, from out here, we came off the dome and we wrapped it around this. And then I pulled it tight over here. And I attached the strip on this side. So I pulled it and attached that there. I did the same off the top. I pulled this top down, wrapped it around this, pulled it tight, and I put a strip here. Same on this side. So we got a nice wrap around the door frame. And it's all one piece, unlike that one where it's a separate cover. The dome and then the, the door doorway was a separate plastic. So this is all one. We'll see how this holds up. We got this all secured down. It's nice and tight in here. It's nice and dry in here, even though it rained out there. I'll walk you around the outside. So there you go, dome number two.